Hello everyone, and welcome back to Rival Stars Horse Racing. And we're about to have a major glow up, friends, because last time when we tipped our toes, or should I say maybe like started putting our horseshoes out onto Rival Stars Horse Racing, I wasn't really sure what to expect. So I thought, you know what, the mobile version is free. Let's just go ahead and see what that's like. There was a huge response and outcry and how many of you guys apparently absolutely adore Rival Stars Horse Horse racing. You were thrilled to see that it is showing up here and I am so thrilled to be able to have some really cool horses to be able to share with you guys. And a lot of you, especially several of our patrons who actually popped up in the comments here and over on our Patreon Discord, pointed out that the desktop version of Rival Stars Horse Racing is even better. And I wasn't sure at first, because at first I wasn't sure if the desktop version actually gets any updates, but it does turn out that they do update the desktop version version pretty faithfully, and they bring over a lot of the updates that you see on the mobile version into the desktop version. And the desktop version also has the ability to make your own horse. <laughs> what? You can actually create not only your own horse in the horse creator, but you can also explore community creations. So some of the horses that you guys may have created, and you can go ahead and download them. And once you get to a high enough level, when you are inside of the story mode, you can actually go ahead and you can breed up against some of the, oh my gosh, look at Firefly. <gasps> You can breed some of the horses that you can find from the community. And just the idea of being able to like see some of your guys' creations, maybe search for some of them. What's Pumpkin's condition? Why are you so precious? Oh my goodness, look at this. <gasps> Moon Melody. Oh, oh my gosh, it's Spirit. <laughs> Dull drama, toy elegance. I just love Devil's Deal, Drifting Devil, Frozen, oh, Frozen Phantom. Oh my gosh. Yeah, just the idea of being able to maybe check out some of your guys' horses, of maybe doing some like random mix breeding with our horses in the future, of taking on some of the challenges that you might be able to find. I'm utterly enchanted. And thank you guys so much for letting me know that there is such a huge difference between the mobile and the desktop version. The desktop version wasn't cheap and I had to really find room in my budget uh, in order to be able to slide it on into our adventures. But here we are. And here we go, you guys. So let's just say that everything that we saw last time was actually just a dream. And uh, let's see, what's, what's all this do? Oh, look, you can see like all of the races you've been in. You can do online races with, I think, other people. Um, you can change a whole bunch about, like you can do quick races, multiplayer racing, betting parties. I have no idea what that does, but everything already looks so much better. So we're going to begin the story once more and have to live through the death of my my father yet again <sighs> so hang in there friends but i'm actually gonna leave this in instead of cutting it out so already you can see such a huge difference in the graphics <gasps> yeah this is a much better way to go this is a much better way to go thank you guys so much for that Alright. Come on. Destiny's dream, maintaining the lead. Destiny's dream. What a beautiful name for a horse. Alright, alright. Come on, Grandpa. I know it's coming this time, so you know how people tell the same story about your family over and over and over again at Thanksgiving? We're just gonna say that's what's going down right now. <laughs> And we're just gonna go ahead and say Finishing on a high note. There we go. That's what the paper said of your grandfather's final victory. Yep. And it was well deserved. But I was there. Indeed. I knew the reason he did it was for the thrill, the sport, and especially family. Family. See, your we're just we're sitting down to yet another meal with our family friends. Making a name for himself, but when your proud grandfather strolled from the stage, leaving him alone in the sun, hang in there. Oh, he took off like an untamed. And there's thing. our dad. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is getting dark fast again. But then, of course. Ah. <sighs> 
Yeah, it's just like so many people said in the comments before. I am not a fan of horse racing. There's a lot no, that goes wrong with it for the horses, family. let alone the people. Um, and your oh, and we couldn't catch up on the bills. For all and then grandfather had to sell everything. But since this is a game a about horses, uh, we'll go ahead and step into it and explore it. And see where things take us from here. In your family's legacy, despite everything. If you could, if you would be persuaded, please come back. All right, guys. I believe together we can return this homestead to the height of its glory days. Yours faithfully, Francis Kwan. Let's go ahead and let's take the next step into this adventure once again. And this time we're kind of going to compare like the two. So you guys have seen the mobile version. Already I can say that the art and everything is much higher quality here in the desktop version. I usually like jump on top of a ton of different games and part of my role as a let's player and part of my role as the pixel biologist is to try to present a ton of them to you guys so you can make your decisions with your resources over what games you want to get so now you saw a little bit of what the mobile game has to offer and here is the desktop version the same sort of setup but we're gonna see where things start taking us from here so let's go ahead oh look this is so different already okay uh, we're gonna select this jockey and it's gonna be Siri, of course. And then let's go ahead and I really wanna pick like the green stuff again, cause I just really love green. It's just my favorite color. Okay, and we can change stuff later, but let's go with this green and then green on top. Yeah, let's see, just a green helmet or do I want anything else? I think. We'll go ahead and do this one right here. Yeah, just Siri. This is me! Okay, let's do this. Yeah, already much, much, much higher quality. Everything is loading so freaking fast. You don't apparently have to wait for like a big time period to pass in between breeding your horses. Hey, and it's Sophie! G'day, I'm Sophie. Nice to finally meet you. Let's get it straight. Let's get straight to it, to it and grab a horse from the market. All right, and we're gonna have a new horse. Oh, I'm so, Radish Dreamer. Oh my gosh, the name. I love her, look at her stripes. Wow. Okay, so we're going to sadly be not using our horses that we had before in the mobile version, but I do love the name Radish Dreamer. Like that is just fantastic. <gasps> you guys, and the graphics are so good. They're so good. I'm really happy with this. It makes me want to play The Sims 3 and run that, like, horse legacy that I have been threatening to do for years. That's for sure. <gasps> Look at her, you guys! Radish Dreamer looks like a real beaut. All right, see you later. Francis has another goal for you. All right, so let's dive into the stories and we're going to carry things on. Oh, good. I was just looking for you. There's a race at the local track that we should enter. Let's pick out some new jockey silks for our ranch. All right, we're going to get some grain from doing this race. Let's go ahead and enter it. Yeah, everything is going great. I'm really pleased with this. Before a race, it's a good idea to view your horse's preferences. So she really prefers to be in the middle. The odds, okay, so here are the odds against her, 7.2. This is really fun. So the best odds are actually 2.8 with Baroness Bandit. Idea Planet is ahead of us too, but Limpet Iceberg. <laughs> Oh my gosh, uh, Olympic Iceberg is lower, so we need to see if we can go ahead and try to win this for 1,260 gold, which we definitely could use, I think. Uh, let's see. So her preferences are to be in the middle. Radish Dreamer has a middle pack uh, position preference, meaning she likes to be amongst the pack. Let's go back and race. Okay, I guess we have to prove that we are like ready for this, that we're going to participate in this race. Gotta pay the race fee. Yeah, everything is loading much, much better. I'm really impressed with this. Keep in mind I was using an emulator for the mobile version, so maybe it is gonna be better on your tablet or your phone. And we won't talk about like, Waiting we won't break the immersion and talk about those kinds of details in the future, but I just think it's important to let you guys know the difference between the two of them in case you wanna get into this too. <gasps> Radish Dreamer, you're my girl! We're gonna do our best, okay? I think we're like guaranteed to win because we have the power of story and destiny on our side. All right. 
And then, let's see, I'm gonna try to push her into the middle. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, use sprint se use a sprint segment to reach your preferred position. Okay. Wait for the flash, then sprint again for the perfect rhythm. Okay. What, what flash? What flash? Oh, there! That flash! Okay! I got it now! Alright, come on, come on, you can do it, girl! Uh, refill sprint faster in preferred position. Okay. Which means, like, middle of the pack. So I'm gonna try to get us in there. Alright, I think we're doing okay. Okay, okay, we got, like, 300 meters left. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Okay, so she is happy with this position. Kind of, like, in the middle of the pack. Alright. Alright. Alright, the final stretch. Come on! Oh my gosh, it's actually a lot harder! What the heck? Okay, it's actually a lot harder! <laughs> oh my gosh, well at least we managed to, like, we got beaten by Hexagon Gooseberry! There's actually a horse named Gooseberry? That was actually hard! I thought that was just going to like walk me through no problem. Like, ha, 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 ha. of course, the power of story and destiny are on your side. But no, I actually lost. What? I am, I'm tickled. You actually have to put a little effort in. I'm really tickled. As your grandfather used to say, everybody has to start somewhere. A great result for our first outing. Thank you, Francis. However, if we want to compete at higher levels, we need to train our horses. Horses gain experience through racing, which allows them to be trained. Let's go meet our new training manager, Trenton. Wow, this is really different, but it's like, I like the high quality difference. Hi, I'm TJ. Mr. Kwan hired me to get the training program back on track. Let's head to the training facilities. So we're gonna train Radish Streamer in speed, sprint energy, and acceleration now. Okay. So let's go ahead and train her. Every time you train Radish Dreamer, it gets stronger. Let's train the other stats. So race to unlock more training for speed. And then because we have grain, we can actually go ahead and do sprint energy training and acceleration training. There you go, girl. Can we, can we like take a picture? Oh, you can totally take pictures. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, so we can do like a little overview. We can, we can go ahead and have like different poses. How fun, cool, look at Radish Dreamer. Wow. And you can have like the, oh, you can have the little garden scene. Oh my gosh, and like a little meadow scene. Okay, this is really nice. <laughs> I'm actually really happy with this. A curious horse, frisky horse. And then you can have, ga oh, galloping horse. <gasps> Inquisitive, noble, okay, this is really fun. Okay, actually, like, I could see my niece absolutely adoring this. This is going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to have a lot of fun exploring this. Okay. What, what are your guys, like, what, what's the dream goal for those of you who are into Rival Stars? Like, what is the biggest lifetime goal of, like, what you try to focus on when you play? Uh, is it just the story? Like, I'm really curious. All right, that's the basic of training. Remember, we've got to keep training our horses to compete at higher levels. We're off to a good start, but there's more to do. I am so tickled. Acceleration feed, speed feed, and sprint feed. Yay! Level two! So now we have new goals. We have unlocked Seawell Meadows, and we have new customization options available. Nice! <gasps> you guys know what time it is now! It's time for the stable to grow so we can have the little foals! Rather than buying horses, I'm keen to get our own team going. We'll need a full in uh, stall for that. All right, I need to like, uh, Jack, if you're watching, and Jack, I, I know you love horses, so you might be watching. I need help practicing Australian accents. So I need good Australian accent like references. All right, so we're now going to breed the falls. Oh, look at the we have the full stables built. I am so happy about that. Can I upgrade it now? Okay, I cannot upgrade it now. However, we can go ahead Let's browse the available studs to find the best pairing for your mare. So we want to have parents affect the grade chance, preferences, and look of their offsprings. So we want to go ahead and have, I think, a higher quality 
stud of some kind. Hmm, there's Windmill Waistcoat. Man, he looks cool. Foolish Lion, what a name! But we're actually missing, I think, one of the things that we need to try to breed these guys. And it looks like Windmill Waistcoat and Foolish Lion. Rider Streamer and Foolish Lion, oh my gosh. Um, we'll go ahead and, they both are middle. We'll go ahead and try this guy. I don't have enough items, so we need to go to market for basic tack in order to go, oh hey, here's some, some tack, there's three in stock. So now I have some tack. Look at Cruel Flamingo, what a name! Bewildered Blog. Oh my gosh, I love, love, love these names. This is just tickling me. Okay, so we don't want to... Oh, I don't want horse dolls just yet. Uh, that would be really fun. But what I want to do is try to breed my horse. So let me see if I can find full stalls. There we go. Let's try breeding Radish Dreamer and Foolish Lion. And we have a 30% chance of a level 2 horse. Okay, breeding successful. Uh... We're gonna go ahead and skip the wait. <gasps> She's beautiful! Oh, look at her! We have a new filly, you guys! Oh, interact with your full and get bonus stat points! Oh, I can't wait to be able to play with her! She's really pretty! She's really, really, really pretty! Holy moly! I'm really happy with this! Okay, this is so beautiful compared to the mobile version, guys. I am loving this. Okay, so we can't take care of her just yet, unfortunately. Um, your new horse needs a new stall, so we need to add a new stall to go ahead and make sure we have room. I hope that that's what we needed. And then, <gasps> meet a new horse! Her name's Blackberry Bagel! I love her. This is so cool. Check out this horse's grade. Higher grades mean horses can be trained to more advanced levels. I really love her. She's got some of her mom's spots. She's got some of her dad's spots. She was so cute as a foal. This is so cool, you guys. You can see the lifetime winnings. I think they can even like end up with like some rewards that they can have. I love this. All right, friends. So did that complete one of our story goals? It totally did. Horses are up to on their feet so quick. It took a year for my kid. I'm pretty happy with our first breeding result. We're already producing better horses. We need those high-grade horses if we're going to compete internationally. <gasps> and there we go. Okay, already things are going really well, and we need to start working about income. We need to start really working on the rest of like our horse ranch. This is exciting. This is fun. This is a lot smoother than the mobile version. And I'm already super in love with just seeing where we might be able to take like our horses, where we might be able to take their beautiful genetics, how we might be able just to have fun evolving this horse ranch. So thank you guys for encouraging me to do this. And thank you guys for encouraging me to make the jump from the mobile game to the desktop game, because it absolutely seems to be worth it. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for Radish Streamer and Blue Blackberry bagel uh, and if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures do please consider subscribing but most importantly my friends stay curious and i'll see you all next time Bye bye